percent of the world has a disability. Where are these people? They don't have access to much. We don't see them and that's not okay. They are valuable and that's why we want to refer to them as differently able because they're a person that happens to have a disability. At the time I was studying sports science and then I met some Paralympic athletes and I remember just leaving that weeping saying these people are more whole than I am. And right in that instant like I knew why God had put me on this earth and I got a job as the sports coordinator at a school for the physically disabled. There was one boy in particular that basically is the reason behind Made For More. He was pushed in front of a train and he lost both of his legs. And we introduced him to hand cycling. He went from being depressed to one of the happiest kids I know. And I was like, there's got to be more. I can't stop with just one, you know. From there it was just kind of a journey of sacrifice and holding on to what I believed I should be doing. She believed in it so much she quit her job. I actually went and did a sports ministry course where I got equipped to lead well. So yeah, then I got back and now like I don't know anything about business. So basically for four months I taught myself. She like started it up and running and it's been going now for two years. Then somewhere along the line we got in touch with Tash and the guys in Cape Town. I've known Julia for many years as just a surfer girl. I love how Made For More is supporting people with disabilities. They are so eager to be challenged and face those challenges head on. No one's really investing in the heart, like who are you, what do you want to do with your life, what is your plan, what is your purpose, you know. That's first and foremost what we're about. It's pretty much the dream and here it is now.